Man, I've got too many ideas. I've got like 40 ideas. 39, because that already made another video. When it comes to self improvement, you must be ruthless. You must be ruthless. You must be. Is avaricious the right word? It's quite. quite intimate of a word. Avaricious. No, avaricious like greedy. Can you say, can you say positively avaricious? I mean, in terms of self improvement, you have to be positively avaricious. You need to meditate. You always need to meditate more. You always need to gratitude journal more. You always need to exercise more. You always need to read more, especially reading. You must be incredibly avaricious with the idea of your own self development because if you are not, if you are not ruthless, if you're not avaricious, if you're not persistent, if you're not consistent, what are you going to be like that for? Then you will lose to the person that is consistent. <laughs> Oh man, that is average. That I truly wants it. Me, I already have a hundred uploads within a month. Within a month, I already have a hundred uploads. Think about in the next twelve months, I have a thousand two hundred uploads. I don't have one thousand two hundred videos. That's gonna put my videos on the in the limelight. My videos are going to gain some traction if I have one thousand two hundred. That's not luck. That's probability. And then I'm gonna clip them on behind as well. I'm probably looking towards like 2,000 videos, clips, because each video could produce like two clips, um, their minimum, because I'm a talkative piece of shit. <laughs> I talk too much. That's why I, instead of talking to people in real life, I just vent to the camera and I just get it out of the way. It grow the YouTube, make clips, get popular, make a bunch of money off talking, podcasting. And I don't get to talk in real life, so these days people talk to, talk to me like, bro, you don't talk to me, you used to be, da, 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 da. bro, I've got YouTube, and I've got my dog, hey, look at me, hey, hey, I love YouTube, cute, you will lose to the person that is ruthless about their own self-development if you are not ruthless about your own self-development, it's that simple, the person that wakes up every single day and has brutal consistent brutal determination and consistency will beat the person who is incredibly talented incredibly good incredibly smart incredibly I don't know, incredibly smart incredibly intelligent <laughs> incredibly resourceful that person will lose if they no that person will win over the person who is is person who is incredibly smart, incredibly, incredibly intelligent, incredibly persistent, he will lose to the person who has brutal consistency and determ brutal determination consistency because, oh fuck man, I'm following all my words with the place. It's because of him, it's because of him. I'm sorry, it's not because of you. Okay, it's not because of him. You got two people, person A, person B. I'm just, why am I still explaining this shit? You guys probably already know that I'm about to say. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> neighbor's dog, man. That little, that little guy needs to shut the hell up. <laughs> Those dogs are kind of cute. They're kind of annoying. Annoying to cute ratio. It's more in the annoying section. Anyways, it's like a little fucking Chihuahua puppy. The really fluffy, like Logan Paul's dog, Kong. I still remember him because I always used to watch some stupid first vlog, man. And I, <laughs> I was fucking fluffer. Oh my god, it's so disgusting. Look at me, bitch, bitch. Yeah, look away, pussy. Hey, run away, pussy. Coward. Come on, cat. My cat will fuck him up. Cat versus dog. Cat will fuck him up. Anyways, <laughs> what am I say? Your person A, person B. Person A is incredibly smart. Person A is incredibly persistent. The person A takes one or two day break after a week of intense, intensive hard work. Intensive consistency. He has the brutal determination and consistency that many would admire, but he takes breaks often. 
Person A will lose to person B. Person B is the person with brutal determination, consistency for the entire year. For the entire year. For the, night, for the entire two years, three years, four years, five years, the decade. 20 years, two decades. He has brutal determination, brutal determination and consistency. Person A will lose. Because those few days he's relaxing and relaxing. Oh yeah, I worked really hard today. He's gonna get fucked, person B. Person B is still grinding, still working. And this is the thing, yeah. I'm not promoting hustle culture. I kinda am. I think you need to take rest days. So you don't, you know, die. Not necessarily burn out. Burn out is not real. And if you're truly motivated and passionate, passionate about your project. And if you're, and if you're seeing results as well, then you will not experience burnout. If you, if you see yourself making a hundred pounds in like a day, in like an hour, not even a day, in an hour. You know, in like, you worked for like, what, four hours? For the four hours, you made a hundred pounds per hour. You made four hundred pounds for those four hours. Bro, you're going to keep working. You can work for 12 hours, make it 1.2 grand in that day. Especially if you're a guy. I don't know what a girl would girl be like. I could, work, I could work an hour a day. And then I could still earn 700 a week or 500 a week. And have the most chillax life ever. Bro, a guy's going to be spamming that shit. <laughs> He's going to be grinding on that shit heavy. 1.2 grand a day. That's a lot of fucking money. I'm not going to do the math. Actually, I am going to do the math. Because I'm a... Uh, cause I'm a Curious bastard, aren't I? <laughs> so fifty one point two grand. There's what's what's the maximum you can make? You make four hundred and thirty k. Well, no, that's crazy. You make four hundred k effectively for the days off. That's what I mean. Person who works, person A, he's incredibly smart, incredibly capable, works for an hour a day, earns 100 pound a day. Person B works 12 hours a day, earns 1.2k a day, and he doesn't feel burnout. He only feels a bit of stress, not a bit of stress, a lot of stress on work, and he has to, and he has to take great days off to recuperate his mind, to rest, to heal. But person B will always win because he's working 12 hour days, earning 1.2 grand a day. You must be ruthless about your own self development. Because you'll immediately be outshined by the person that isn't. That is. There's a, I saw a guy called Adam recently. He's a, I don't know, black pillist YouTuber. Woe well, is me, economy is shit, job, employment, minimum wage, do as you do, get by. I think he's tried to do anything else outside. Not learning, not studying, not reading. Bro, studying, learning is all life. Studying for life, reading is for life, not just for school. People get this misconception. Oh, after I finish school, I get a job, and yeah, that's done. Or you're going to be trading your time for money. You, you, you're missing out on the best parts of life. The entrepreneurship route. And not everyone can be an entrepreneur, I agree, but... Can't you? That was a good, that was a good speech, right? Yum, yum, yum. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm. Cute. Think about how many people have failed their YouTube channel. Failed. They make a YouTube channel, they upload 50 videos, so be it. Done. They make a YouTube channel, make a podcast, they're like the most dreary, boring white people. I mean, you know, white people are quite interesting, Joe Rogan, that's what I need to say. Joe Rogan's quite interesting, Elon Musk is quite interesting. You can see those are outliers. Am I being racist? Yeah, I am. How can you control if you're white? I just realized, bro, you just spawn as a white guy. You just get <laughs> spawned. As if you load up a new world and then you're immediately white. But this is the most average, boring man out there, and you start a podcast. You make three interviews and what, five podcast segments in total. So, two podcast segments where you're just with your friends and 
three interviews with people that are barely interesting. You make clips, you make podcasting, you got five uploads on the main channel, you got a few clips on the side channel, and then you call it a day. And then you call it a day. Oh, I've done my podcast, guess I failed. Quit. A podcast could have been something beautiful, something brilliant, something more. And then they decided to quit on it. Unbelievable. Unfucking believable, bro. <sighs> that person will lose. <sighs> that person will lose to someone like me. Who will interview a hundred people. Who will upload a hundred videos. Who will clip their videos a bunch. Shorts, clips, TikToks, YouTube shorts, Instagram reels. Post, 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 push, 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 push. That person will lose to me. Because I'm ruthless myself at the moment. This is a purely hypothetical example, by the way. I'm still on three podcast interviews at the moment, actually. The last one was bad. But I can always redo, the, redo it with other people. I think I'm doing it with another guy, just solo. One on one podcast. And yeah, that's gonna be it. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I think I said my point clearly enough. See you guys in the next video. The last sign hour. What am I doing?